Hello, today we are continuing our unit on volume and specifically solids of revolution. Um, the figures today are going to be a little bit different than yesterday uh, because we're going to be using something called the washer method and not the disc method. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about what that means. So for this region R, um, we are revolving it around the x-axis. Now yesterday, all of our figures were solid. There were no holes in it. We just had cross sections of circles. However, with this, take a look at what this solid will look like. Um, we will have a solid that has some type of a hole in it, and our cross sections look like washers. They look like those washers with the holes in them. Um, so this is going to change our formula ever so slightly. Um, so let's go ahead and get started on this question. All right. So for this one, uh, when we have a washer method, we essentially have an outer radius and an inner radius. So in general, here's what our formula is going to be. We're going to have pi r squared. This will be our outer radius. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave the differential, uh, differential blank, but dx or dy, possibly even dz if you're in Calc 3. And we're integrating from A to B. That will be our outer radius that we are revolving. But now I want to cut away a hole from the middle. Um, so then we're going to be subtracting pi from A to B of our inner radius. And then our differential goal, I'll just leave that blank. It'll either be dx, dy, or dz. Um, so we have pi r squared for our outer radius minus pi r squared for our inner radius that we are cutting away. Now, a shorter way to write this would be as follows. Both of these have a constant of pi. We are integrating from A to B. And we could write this as our outer radius squared minus our inner radius. And then finally, D, whatever we're uh, taking our integral with respect to. All right, we have our outer radius squared minus our inner radius squared. Please note, this formula does not say this. Don't even write this down if you're taking notes. R minus R squared D whatever. No, 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 no. This right here will actually end up calculating a new radius, and then you're just squaring that. This one, we want it very clearly. Hey, we have an outer radius squared, then we're subtracting away an inner radius squared. These two things are not equal to each other. So no, no, uh, if you wrote that down, no. All right, um, so let's take a look at this very, very first one. Um, so we are revolving around the x-axis. Let's talk about our outer radius. Our outer radius is this distance right here. That is our linear function. Um, and in this problem, this linear function is 4x plus 1. This is going to be our outer radius. Our inner radius, on the other hand, uh, what are we cutting away? This is our inner radius. Uh, and in this problem, this is e to the x power. So our setup for this one, we have pi, we are integrating. Um, it looks like our first limit of integration is zero. Um, our second limit of integration, this intersection point, uh, I am too lazy to calculate that, but you are, uh, it's going to be somewhere like 2.3, eh, 2.4 ish. Um, you would need to find that intersection using a graphing calculator. I'm just going to leave it as B for this video. Um, so let's take a look here. My outer radius is 4x plus 1. We have our outer radius squared minus our inner radius is e to the x. So we have e to the x. This is squared. And then finally, we are taking this integral with respect to x with dx. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the solution just to see how close. Yeah, um, that intersection was 2.33666. Um, so notice the setup is the exact same. We have pi, we're integrating from 0 to 2.3. This is our outer radius, minus this is our inner radius, and then that is our final volume is 123.13. So that is our first example around the x-axis. For my second example, what I'm going to do is show you a volume uh, that is revolving around a horizontal line that is not the x-axis. Um, so yesterday I did one that was below, one that was above. Today I'm only going to do one that is above because uh, I generally have found that the segment subtraction seems to be a little bit trickier than the addition. All right, so let's go ahead and take a um, moment to visualize what's going on here. 
So this is my region right here, and I'm revolving around the horizontal line y equals 4. Um, so if I am visualizing this, I'm going to have a curved outside for that outer radius, and I'm going to have a flat inner radius. So I'm going to go ahead and um, show what this looks like. Right, here we go. Ooh, isn't that fun? Uh, notice the inside, what we're cutting away is essentially a cylinder, uh, but then it starts to um, go up, go closer towards that axis um, as we go from A to B. All right, so let's go ahead and set this up. All right, so for this one, uh, just in general, to make sure that I am organized, I'm going to go ahead and write our general formula. We're looking from pi from A to B. I have an outer radius squared minus an inner radius squared. And in this problem, we are taking it with respect to dx. All right, so our outer radius from our axis of revolution here, our outer radius is going to be from here all the way to the outside from here. This is our outer radius r. All right, now if I am trying to figure out what r is, well, this distance from the x-axis to our curve um, in this problem, this is just x cubed plus 1. This is x cubed plus 1. Um, and then I know that this entire distance from here to here is 4. So if I'm looking for my outer radius, this region right here, that segment right here, well, I'm going to be taking 4 minus my x cubed plus 1. 4 minus my x cubed plus 1. So here we go. Let's go ahead and set that one up. We have pi. Um, in this problem, it looks like we are integrating from 0 to 1. 0 to 1. All right, and I am actually going to write out this whole thing. I know that you could do 4 minus 1, but I'm just going to show that. We're doing 4 minus our x cubed plus 1 squared. Oops, I guess I need that extra parenthesis. All right, so 4 minus x cubed plus 1 squared. That is our outer radius. All right, our inner radius, this one's actually kind of cool. Um, our inner radius is just a constant from here to here. Um, if you want to write 4 minus 2, that's cool. Uh, but this is our inner radius. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just put that we are subtracting away. Uh, that is a constant distance. That's 2 squared, which is 4. And then finally, we are integrating with respect to x. All right, so let's go ahead and show solution here. All right, same thing here. We have pi. We are integrating from 0 to 1. Um, our total distance was 4, but then we're subtracting away. That's squared. Oh, they actually did the 4 minus 2. I'm okay. I guess I was bold and I did just 2. Um, but 2 squared there, um, dx, and then it is 11.444. Um, so that is our volume when we have something that is not the x axis. All right, um, so I'm going to go ahead and show just one more example. If you're like, okay, yeah, lady, I got it. Feel free to stop the video. I'm going to do one more example, one that I think is a little bit easier, um, and that is when we are revolving around something that is lower than the x-axis. All right, last example. Here is our region R. We are revolving around the horizontal line, y equals negative 3. Um, so to visualize this, I'm going to go ahead and show you what this solid looks like. Uh, we certainly have a, our washer method. We have an outer radius. We're subtracting away our inner radius. All right, so let's go ahead and set this one up. Um, so to organize my thoughts, I have pi. Um, in this one, um, we are integrating from 0 to 4 here, 0 to 4. All right, my outer radius uh, minus our inner radius. And then finally, we are taking this with respect to x. All right, so my outer radius here is this entire distance from here to here. Um, this one, we are going to be using our segment addition. Um, so this one, from here to here, this is a distance of 3. And then from here to here, that is just the square root of x. Um, so we have pi. We're integrating from 0 to 4. Our outer radius is square root of x plus 3, and we are squaring that. Sorry, my son is struggling with some Legos here. Um, so then for our inner radius, inner radius here is the distance from here to here. Uh, same thing, this is our constant 3. This distance right here is 1 half of x, 1 half of x. Um, so 
minus 1 half of x plus 3 squared. And finally, we are taking this with respect to x, so dx. Um, so when we have our axis that is below the x-axis, personally, I think these are a little bit easier since we are simply adding those together. Um, so let me go ahead and show you that solution down below. We have pi, we're integrating from 0 to 4. This is our outer radius minus our inner radius. And then we are all set. Notice we have our outer radius squared minus our inner radius squared. Don't just subtract them and then square it. Uh, that is not going to be the same value. All right. Uh, I hope you have a fantastic day. Those are our three examples. We've got one where we have our x-axis, one where we have a an axis that is above the x-axis, so we have to do a little bit of segment subtraction. And then finally, this one below the x-axis, we have our segment addition, and we are all set. Have a great day.